Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Today, inshallah, we will practice by solving the recitation exercises of section P5. But before that, let's uh, uh, remember what we have done so far in this section. And also, let's solve one or more two examples about it. So this section, ya shabab, if you remember, it is about algebraic expressions. In particular, it is about polynomials, how to add and subtract polynomials, how to multiply polynomials, and also in general, how to multiply algebraic expressions. Uh, the main part that you will use for the future is this, the special product formulas. Uh, of course, you can multiply any algebraic function by any algebraic function, but if you are going to use the special product formulas, this will save your time. So if you remember, we have defined what we mean by algebraic expression, terms, coefficients, monomials, binomials, trinomials. This is the form for um, uh, the polynomials. Usually, of course, the standard form, when you have it from the highest power to the smallest power, we order it like this, x to the power three, x to the power two, x to the power one, and so on. Uh, the degree, the coefficients, how to add and subtract polynomial, just combine the like terms. How to multiply, you to multiply uh, two polynomials or in general two algebraic expressions, just you will use the distributive property with the laws of exponents so here we are just distributing but we are using of course the laws of exponents here x times x it is x to the power two we add the powers when we have the same base even if you have two terms any number of terms can be multiplied by uh, any term by any uh, number of terms this one this method when you have binomial multiplied by no, binomial we call it foil now, this is what, what we have mentioned at the end of the previous class, the spatial product formulas. We have approved, I think, most of them. We have shown you how, how to prove all of these. Um, so you, you can remember them by the names, by the way. It will be easier for you. This is cube of difference. This is cube of sum. This is sum of difference. This is square of difference, square of sum, and so on. Most importantly, Ashabab, what is most important here is this, the principle of substitution. So we are going to use these formulas, not for A and V, for other expressions, but of course we will consider them as A and B. For an instance here, look what is A, look what is B, and we can apply these formulas. You need to decide which one is uh, fit for your problem when you apply it. I think we didn't solve this with you in the previous class. Yes. Uh, so look here what you have. You have a product of two uh, binomials. It is, in fact, this is not a binomial because it's the, 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 the square here, the, the, the power here is a half. It is not. It is not polynom, polynomial. So it is not binomial. But here you have two terms multiplied by two terms. So if you look, here we are. This is similar to this. Just you need to look what is A, what is B. So if you consider this as A, and this is as B, this will be A minus B. And this, is this A plus B? Yes, it is. So this is A plus B times A minus B, but this one, it is A minus B times A plus B. Is there a difference? There is no difference because the multiplication is commutative. So it is the same. So what will be the result now? The result will be a squared minus b squared. So what is a squared? You will square, it will be 4x squared, and the square of y will be the square root of y. When you square it, it will be y. So here we are. We just apply formula number one with a equals to 2x and b equals to. Usually, Taban, we can go directly from here to here. It is not that difficult. Now for the second one, which formula can we can use? For this one, which formula? The, fa the same formula? What will be A, what will be B in this case? So we have something, something minus something else, plus the same thing, plus the same thing again, that again. So we can consider this as what? As A, and this will be A minus B. So this will be our B, and this will be also A plus B. 
the same. So here we will use the associative property, Shabab. Do you remember the associative property from section P2? Yeah. When you add uh, three terms, you can start adding the first two, then the third one. So this is our A, this is our B. So it is A minus one. Now what you will do, you'll apply, it will be A squared, this is A, A squared minus B squared. Now here, which formula we will apply? The second one, the, second one, the square of the sum. So you will expand it and then one squared is one. Uh, can you combine the like terms here? Do we have like terms? No, no they are different terms. They are unlike. So that's it. This is the summary of this section, Shabab. The, if, we, if we want to summarize this section, I think this is the summary, but don't forget that we have defined the polynomial. What is the definition of the polynomial? What we mean by binomial, trinomial, monomial, term, coefficients, leading coefficients, and so on. These are the key terms. You have here uh, many uh, key terms and new words that you need to know what they are mathematically. There are many solved exercises also for you to practice. Yes, about. So practice and then check your, your solution. Uh, also some old ex uh, some exercises from your textbook. Try to avoid this mistake, Ashabad. This is a common mistake. Uh, usually the beginner students do this. Uh, I believe that uh, you are not going to do this. Please don't distribute the powers. This is not only for squared, for any power, for any root, for any exponent. It is not correct. In fact, how to make it correct? What is missing here? 10x. Is, it is a plus 10x. There is a missing term here. Okay, now I will give you, Shabab, uh, like um, two to three minutes, let's say three minutes, to solve this recitation question. The question is find the coefficient of x in this polynomial. And uh, it is, of course, good to, uh, to expand it. So let's practice by. Um, simplifying this product and this polynomial and write it in the standard form. But of course, you need to focus on the coefficient of X at the end. So I will pause the recording, take the attendance during that. Please, Shabab, write your solution clearly. I will, I will check the solution of each student, Shabab. So please write your solution in, in, in a clear way. Recording. So the answer is seven over four. This is the coefficient of x. But let's focus more, Shabab, on how to expand such polynomials like this. How to simplify this multiplication. And you can, of course, if, if he asks you about the the coefficient of x or y or x squared or x cubed, whatever. If you can simplify, you can find the coefficient. Okay. So what we will do. We will use this, Shabab. This is this is a, this is what b, and this will be a plus b all squared. So we will use this formula. So what we will do, Shabab? This formula it says what? So let me just write here what we are going to have here. It will be equals to what? We will square. It will be a squared. So it is what? Two x all squared, which is what? For x squared, some of you squared x, some of you squared two only, plus, according to the formula, plus 2ab, 2ab, what is b? Which is this, 4x. So you can skip this step just for illustration. Now, this is plus b squared. What is, what is b? So this is a plus one. No need for this step, Shabab. But if you did it, just to make sure that you did not, you didn't do any mistake. Now here, when you have minus instead of a bracket, you have to think about the distributive property. But when you have power here, you should expand this power, then distribute the negative according to the, the order of operation. So here we have minus. When you have negative, we will open brackets. Now I will ask myself here, what do I have? I have A plus B all to the power. Three, here we are, a plus b all to the power three. So we will apply this formula. Now again, this is a, this is b. New ones, of course, not the same one as before. So what we will do here, it will be a to the power what? Three, 
which is 3x all to the power minus or plus plus because all of everything here is positive shabab plus three from where this is three from the formula three a which is three x all to the power two times b what is b in our case a half plus again we have another three from the formula three x to the power one a a to the power one b squared a half to the power two plus b cubed what is b in our case a half to the power three now do you remember the the brackets that we opened here at the beginning let's close it now here we are yes about now it is it is a matter of simply fine let's let's distribute the negative now every everything here every term will be negative because we will multiply by negative so it will be minus 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 so it will be minus what here 27 x to the power three here it will be minus what three to the power two nine nine times three twenty seven over two x to the power two because x is squared here now here it will be nine over what nine over four because it is a half to the power two so it is four what is the power of x x the last term minus not plus minus one over eight. here we are yes, now you can answer the question by the way if you uh, if you have this question in an exam no need to do more simplification what you can do if you want to answer the question just look at the coefficients of what of x what is x we have two terms of x don't waste your time calculating the, the other terms but we will do it here for practice now, if you want to know what is the coefficient of x, what you will do, you will say the terms that contain x, here they are. So I will take x as a common factor to find what is the coefficient. What is this, Shabab? 16 minus 9, 7 over 4. So what is the coefficient of x? 7 over 4. This is how to solve such questions. Okay? But let's learn also, assume that he asks you to find the sum of the coefficients of this polynomial what you will do if the question was find the sum of the coefficients you need to continue simplifying so let's continue simplifying this and write it in the standard form the standard form is to write from the largest power to the smallest power so let me here we have 4x squared so it will be 4 and we have also here x squared so it is for 4 minus 27 over 2x squared look at shabab this is x squared this is x squared so here we are, I took x, uh, x squared as a common factor. Now let's combine the terms with x. So it will be plus 4x, and we already did that, by the way. Here it is. Then one, we have here one plus one minus eight, plus one minus eight, and finally negative 27x to the power three. So let's start with the biggest one, Yashabat, here. Negative 27x to the power 3. The, the, the addition is commutative, so we will start. With, it is not necessary just to write it in the standard form. Here, we this is positive, Yashabat, plus. What is that? It will be minus, minus 19 over 2. Is that right? X is, this is the coefficient of x squared, if he asks you about the coefficient of x squared plus we did this before this is seven over four x and this is what seven over eight that's it this is the, the coefficient of x to the power zero we expand this what is this is a common question in the old exams find the coefficient what is the coefficient of x x squared x y x y squared and so on as you will see in the old exam there is also another type of questions with the same idea but uh, written in a different way like this Look at this old exam question. If the coefficient of x, y, which means the terms with x, y, x times y, if the coefficient of the term x, y in this product is negative seven, then what is m? How to solve such question? No. What do you mean by substitution? Substitute what? This is not substitution. What we will do? How to solve such question? 
Yes. So what you will do? How to simplify this? Multiply. Multiply. So first of all, you will what? Expand this, multiply. So the solution here, I did solve this for you, by the way. What you will do, you will expand this one. You will multiply m squared x squared plus the first one multiply the second one by two plus y squared. Then you will multiply this by these three terms. And also then by this, you will use foil, uh, the FOIL method uh, repeatedly. Then you will focus on the terms on the terms with what? With x, y. Look, this is a term with x, y. This is a term with x, y. So here, here, this is negative 2m. This is negative 1. This is an equation, a linear, a linear equation. We will study linear equations in uh, chapter 1, how to solve them. So easy, what is m? So now, why we put the coefficient? This is the coefficient of x. You have negative 2 m x y, and here negative x y. The coefficient, of course, you will uh, uh, you will take x y as a common factor. It will be negative 2 m minus 1 x y. This is the coefficient of x y. He said the coefficient of x y needs to be what? Negative 7. So this one, I want it to be negative 7, like this. So to make this negative seven, we should put this equal to negative seven. Now solve it for M, then M is a three. Now, if you put instead of M equal a three, you will get that the coefficient of X, Y at the end will be negative seven. So where is the trick here in this question? Indeed, it is just a matter of multiplication, but be careful when you multiply M X by X, for example, it is M X squared. It is, uh, when you expand, first of all, this will be M squared X squared. So you will consider m here as a, as a number and you will square it as you do for other uh, numbers. And the trick, if there is a trick, it is this part. And then find n. There are many questions like this in the old exams. This is the second recitation question. We already solved this uh, in the previous class. Uh, I'll skip this, Shabab, because I believe that uh, this is the idea now is clear for this one. And we, we did solve it also here. When we expand this one, with, it is to the power three. So what you will do, for example, here, you will apply this formula, formula number five, with A capital equals to A small and B equals B capital equals to negative uh, to, to B. For this one, you will apply formula number, expand this one, expand this one, and then simplify by subtracting X minus Y. Check your answer. This will be the, the, the final answer at the end. Please, yes, about practice. Practice at home by, by solving such problem. This will uh, help you to uh, be professional in calculating the powers, the negative, the science, and so on in applying these formulas. Let's now perform uh, the following indicated operations over these uh, uh, algebraic expressions. So easy. What is this? Uh, we will use the second formula here. It is square of a sum. So it will be the square of the first one plus two times the first one times the second one plus the square of this, the last one which is what c squared plus two plus one over c squared that's it so easy now what who can tell me what we we can which formula we can use for this one this is a plus b and this is a minus b yes so we have something, uh, the sum and the difference of the same quantities. So what we will have in this case, it will be the square, A squared minus B squared, the square of the first one minus the square of the second one. What is this? H squared plus one minus, and this will be H squared. Final answer is H squared. What about it, Shabab, if it, if it was like this? If it was, let me just um, ask this question here. What about if it is H squared plus one plus one times H squared minus one minus one? Can we use formula number one? So what we can do? We can use it. So what is A in this case? What is B? We cannot, because this is not the same as this, Shabab. This is not the same. This is h squared minus one, this is h squared plus one. 
even if this is a plus, we cannot use this one or that one, whatever. If this is minus and this is plus, we cannot use it. Make sure that you have something plus something else. And at the end, uh, at, uh, on the next brackets, you have this, the difference between the same quantity. So A here, it is the same as A here. B here, it is the same. And this is about the principle of substitution. You can just use any formula for any algebraic except. For example, here, which formula we can use? The first one. Tell me, what is A, what is B? If you are going to use the first one. How? Oh, what is, you tell me, what will be A, what will be B? A is X. Yeah. X plus Y is A. No, no, no. X, a minus one. Yes. Because uh, if you multiply negative with negative, it's going to be positive. So here we have something plus something. So it, it is this one. Uh, now here, I need to have here, yeah, Shabab, we need to have the same thing here. We, we need to have, for example, if I decide the, to this to will be A or this to be uh, B. Here I have the sum of them. Here I need to have what? X plus Y minus Z. Do we have this? No. no. So th th this idea, is, it, it doesn't work. So we need to change our, our mind here. What we can do? The trick here, do you know, yeah, Shabab, that negative Y, negative Z, it is just negative Y plus Z? Do you know that? P2, I mentioned this property, Shabab. These are from the properties of real numbers, the distributive property also. So we can write this as X minus open brackets. It will be Y plus Z. So look, let me, let me rewrite, rewrite this by using the associative property. So this is X plus, let me use the associative property. When you add three numbers, you can start adding any two numbers. Now this is what? A plus B times A minus the same A, the same B. Now I can apply formula number one, which is about the sum, the product of the sum and the difference of the same quantity. So it will be the first one squared, minus or plus? Minus. The difference of squares, yes, y plus z all squared. And this is x squared minus. Here you will do a mistake if you have a negative sign here. Be careful. Open brackets. Now expand. Now exp uh, distribute the negative. Can you simplify more? Do we have like terms? No more like terms. Here we are. Now, do we have sign? Yes, please. Let's practice by solving this one. You uh, need a strategy to solve such problems. Do you remember how to multiply A times B times C? How to do that? By using the distributive, the, the associative property times A times B, find the product of A and B, then multiply by what? Or you can multiply B by C, then multiply the result by. So this is called the descriptive property. Here we have something and here's something and it is multiplied also by something, uh, by a third thing. So you can multiply the first one by the second one, then the result multiplied by the third one, or you can multiply the second one by the third and the result multiplied by the first. You can do it in, in a different way. You have here one term, this is one term uh, so far, and this of course one term so far, but of course there are many terms inside. What is A to the power X times A to the power X guys? A to the power X, all to the power two. Is that right? No, no. It is not right? It is. It is whatever, Shabab, whatever squared, it is A times A. So is it A to the power X squared? Is it? It is not. It is A to the power what? A to the power, when you multiply the same base, add. So it will be X plus X, which will be A to the power. 2x. So you can write it in different ways, but not like that. Okay. This is what is true. So this will help you now.
So let me do the first step for you. So this one will be multiplied by both you by you will by using the, the distributive property. So it will be a to the power two x minus four a to the power x. I multiply the first quantity by the second. Minus now what we can do with this one here. Apply apply this is cube of the difference. Cube of difference. Cube of the difference. So it will be this formula. We will use this formula. Don't forget this negative. Keep it there. Open bracket. Brackets here. So this is the first one to the power of three. So it will be what? A to the power three x. You know, Shabab, a to the power x multiplied by three. It is the inner multiplied by the power by the outer. So it will be like this. Now, minus or plus? Minus from the formula three. A squared, which is a to the power two x multiplied by b. We, we are lucky here. B is what? One. one. One squared or one to the power whatever it is one. Plus three a, which is a to the power x in our case. B squared, which is one squared, minus b cube, which is what? One, one cube, which is one. Great. Continue, Shabab. Continue simplifying. Now, what you will do here? You will use foil first by first, second by second, uh, first outer, inner, last. So it will be what? When you multiply this by this, what you will get? Uh, a to the power 3x plus a to the power 2x when you multiply this by two, by one. Then minus 4a to the power 2x minus 4ax. Now let's distribute this negative. It will be minus a to the power 3x plus 3a to the power 2x minus 3a to the power x plus 1. Now we are going to combine like terms. a to the power 3x a to the power 3x with negative a to the power 3x, 0. a to the power 2x with negative 4a to the power x, negative 3. With this positive 3, they will gone. So let me make here 2 to know they are cancelled this way. What is what we left up with? Negative four, negative three, negative what? Negative seven. They are like terms. Plus one. That's it. Let's check our answer. Correct. Okay. Any question about this? Now let's have a look at some old exam question. When, when simplify this expression, the result will be what? Binomial of degree one, binomial of degree two, trinomial of degree two, or monomial, monomial of degree two. How to solve such question? Expand this one, simplify it. The solution is here. And look what you have at the end. What is this? Binomial of degree. This is what, what I have mentioned for you before. This is which one of the following is not a polynomial. We have solved similar one in the previous class. So man, this is the polynomial of degree zero. This is the one that is not because the power here is it. If uh, the coefficient of x is x y squared in this expression is what? Again, you need to simplify, expand, and then look what is the coefficient of x y squared. It is negative three. Uh, again, this, these, these are solved Shabab, for you. You can solve this one, by the way, also in, in section B6. I will mention this for you again in B6. You can solve it by the methods of B6 or uh, B5. You can use it, use the difference of squares also. Uh, he's, here, for example, he asked about the sum of all the coefficients. So you need to expand. And then the coefficients are negative 6, 12, and negative 16. The sum of them is negative 10. Similarly, here, Shabab, now these are problems. Who can tell me how to solve this? This is an interesting one. This is interesting. I remember this term in 1A2. I remember that uh, I suggested this question. So if x squared plus 1 over x squared is 3, then what is x minus 1 over x all squared? How to solve such question? 
Simplify. How to simplify the first one? The second one. So the idea is to work here, Shabab. So what is this? X squared minus two plus one over X squared. Is that right? What is wrong? What is X over X? Yeah. Why, why guys, you are, it is X multiplied by one over X. So it is X multiplied by one over X multiplied by two plus one over X squared, which is of course X squared minus two plus one over X squared. Now look what is given for me. What is this? So this is equals to what? X squared plus one over X squared minus two. Is that right? The addition is commutative. So it is what? Three minus, which is what? The answer is A. So this is a nice trick. You, it is given for you, what is the value of this? Which is three. Just you are using, you are expanding. Uh, the coefficient of X squared direct, it is just a matter of be careful when you have negative sign, when you expand. Again, similar idea. You will find that most of the ideas are the same. Just it is a matter of be careful when you expand about positive and negative. Again, this is a question that I think if you can think about it, it is also straightforward. Just you will expand this one, you will expand this one, and you will see what you have. I believe also that you can solve this one with the ideas of section P6. You can solve it there again. Again, Ishaba, what you will do here, you will expand this one and compare this with this. And you will see what is A, what is B, what is C. I think this is enough, Ishaba, for today. And uh, see you, inshallah, tomorrow. It is recorded, yes. I did record it with you.